We just got to Mobile World Congress here in Barcelona. Let's get a look at some of the top trends unfolding inside. A lot of the things you see are, are things you might have seen in, in sci-fi movies in, in the 90s, and, and now they're a reality. A reality made possible by the network. Faster speeds, lower latency, and built-in intelligence. That goes far beyond what we traditionally considered telco services. When you look at the cars that are down here, you look at some of the, the robots, you look at some of the humanoid robots that they have, that's going to require a network. A network like this. This is the hall, and that looks really violent. Inside Cisco's Network Operations Center, we got a live look at all the bandwidth-hungry applications on the show floor. Really a lot of voice and a lot of video going up and down. And you can actually see the amount of data that's coming off of this network quadruples every year. It's proof that the AI innovation cycle isn't slowing down. Vendors came here to show off their goods, and to do so, they needed a capable network. The big number was Wi-Fi 6. A lot of the experience in the hall has improved greatly just because the clients have gotten better and are using the capabilities in the hall. And experts say it's just a matter of time before the same capabilities scale across enterprise and consumer markets. But will telcos be ready? So there's a tremendous opportunity for service providers to provide that underlying plumbing and infrastructure for infancy. So as we learned at this year's MWC, the future isn't just being imagined, it's being engineered. If there's only going to be two kinds of companies in the world, in my opinion. Ones that are going to have high levels of dexterity with AI, and others that are going to really struggle for relevance. Till next time, I'm Diana Blass.